you. It was beautiful. We, I've never enjoyed uh, looking at a film as much as I have today because, uh, you know, you couldn't ask for any better execution offensively and defensively. And our defense uh, was victimized by that call after Greasy had the interception. They fumbled, and the official blew the whistle inadvertently and uh, uh, took the ball away from us and gave them a new life. And they went down and scored. But then after that, you could tell by the way that we're hitting defensively that they weren't going to score much. My, my job is to motivate the offense uh, to call the plays, to get them going, uh, get them working, whatever it takes. Uh, running plays at the right time, passing plays at the right time. It just so happened that uh, we were getting plays in situations that touchdown passes were coming and not touchdown runs. just a thing of beauty. Our offensive line, the way Greasy had to be uh, his greatest day ever, directed the attack. The receivers, the running backs, uh, Gary Davis and Leroy Harris, then Benny when he came into the ball game, just outstanding. There was a winter wonderland in Green Bay this afternoon as the Vikings and Packers played in the white stuff. Quarterback Bob Lee connected with Sammy White on a 40-yard touchdown pass, and Fred Cox booted two field goals as the Vikings stayed atop the NFC Central with a 13-6 win. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost their 27th in a row, a 17-0 decision to Atlanta. Haskell Stanback scored twice on a pair of one-yard runs for the Falcons. Steve Grogan tossed two first-half touchdown passes, including this 64-yarder to rookie Stanley Morgan as the Patriots handed the Eagles a 14-6 defeat. Grogan's second scoring pass was to Darrell Stingley, a 16-yard strike. The New England defense recorded eight quarterback sacks as Chuck Fairbanks' crew improved to 7-4. In Washington, the Cowboys pulled out a 14-7 win over the Redskins. With the score tied at 7 early in the fourth quarter, Roger Staubach picked up a crucial first down on 4th and 1, 2-1. On the next play, Tony Dorsett won over for the game's winning touchdown. The win puts Dallas within a game of clinching the NFC East. This first half, seven-yard touchdown run by John Capaletti was all the Rams needed to defeat the Browns 9-0 in the snow at Cleveland. Brown errors played a big part in the game as the Rams recovered two fumbles and intercepted four passes. The Pittsburgh Steelers took over sole possession of first place in the AFC Central with a tough 23-20 win over the Jets. Terry Bradshaw threw two touchdown passes and Franco Harris scored on a one-yard run. It was the Jets' seventh straight loss. Penn State and Pittsburgh, ranked 8th and 9th respectively, went right down to the wire in a heavy snowfall at Pitt Stadium this afternoon before the Nittany Lions survived a late comeback for a 15-13 win. With Penn State leading 3-0, Panther quarterback Matt Cavanaugh drove over from the 1 for a 7-3 first quarter lead. Another Penn State field goal closed the gap to 1, but the Nittany Lions took a 12-7 lead into the locker room at halftime. Mike Gooman rambled 52 yards after taking Jimmy Shuffalo's handoff on a punt return. The two-point conversion failed. Matt Barr added another field goal in the fourth quarter, making it 15-7 Penn State before Pitt's last second comeback try. With the snow falling heavily now and time running out, Kavanaugh hit Gordon Jones for a 17-yard touchdown. Pitt went for the two-point conversion that would tie it up with 12 seconds left, but State's Matt Millen stopped Miami and Elliott Walker, preserving the victory for the Fiesta Bowl-bound Nittany Lions. John Armineo, Channel 4 Sports.